Hello everyone and welcome to another Unity tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to animate your colliders and as always in the first minute I'm going to show you exactly what this means. And so we have a character from our old tutorial which I'm going to link in the description and what happens is when I hit play you will see his collider. His collider changes as he moves, as he changes animation. So we have the idle, we have walk, you can see how the, the collider changed can jump, we have fall, these are just very simple of course animations, death and of course attack. Attack is the most important one because you can you want to change your collider as the leg ex extends in this case and this is a character from a game called uh, Tails, uh, from Fantasia from Super Nintendo I think. And so that's the, that's the meat of what's gonna happen after we are done with the tutorial. And so let's start with the tutorial itself. I'm going to show you first how this works. We have a character from that old tutorial and he can walk, he can jump, you can see the animation, it's not perfect, it's not polished or anything, but you, there you go, he's jumping and he can also run. It's a very simple animation system that I created in that other tutorial and so in this case, we can see that he is idle right now, and and anything you do is gonna change that that beautiful, beautiful collider to whatever you want it to be. Look at that! Isn't that a beautiful collider? And so I'm gonna now delete all my changes, my my changes, so you guys can see how I made them happen. Just go to each animation and delete all my box collider changes. It's not that big a deal. So the important thing about this tutorial is that if you want a character to crawl under some space, some specific small space, you can do it with this process. It's not a hard process by any means and it will help you a lot. And so now I'm going to check out the, the collider so you guys can see. This is the base collider. It's the same collider for everything. He's running, I look at that. The collider doesn't match. He's going to jump, doesn't match and it's gonna attack and it's just look at the how the, the way the kick goes out of the collider so if there's an enemy on this area that enemy will not get hit so let's go with the first one it's the idle the way I'm gonna change this I'm gonna place my cursor in the first keyframe which is zero zero my samples are small because my animation is not that long. I, I decided to go with a slow animation. So I'm gonna hit this button. I, I'm gonna make sure the keyframe recording is set. I'm gonna click on my first point, hit edit collider, and I'm gonna edit the collider the way I want it to be. It's not a hard process again. It's you just oops. You just drag these little squares down I want the hair to be collided with and then we hit play and there you see how the collider changed because if it's not on the animation it's larger because it's my base prefab collider I, you could change that to not to match better but since your character should always be in animation this will not be a problem then walk we can see it's not matching right so what I'm gonna do is click my first keyframe Edit collider and I'm going to move this and I want the hand to collide, I want the cape to collide, I want the top part of the hair, just the head, to be collided. So I hit play and it works perfect. Now I'm going to go to run. Again, doesn't match at all. Click on this one, edit collider, so lower, a little shorter here, a little shorter here, I'm gonna not have the shoe collide, and there you go. That looks pretty. Now I'm gonna go to jump, do the same thing, it's a short process, but there's an important thing I'm gonna show you just in a second. Jump is done, fall, this is a short tutorial but I, I believe it's quite important for people who don't know how to do this. So no cape, Yes, shoes and no hair again. Hit play, it works. Go to death. I mean, he's dead. He maybe doesn't need a collider. But I don't know if maybe I want a secondary character to revive him. 
So what if I want to change my collider to not be a collider but a trigger? You can just click here and now your collider is a trigger. So your other character can come and revive them or whatever you want to do in your game. Now I go to attack. I'm going to pause this, go to the first frame, edit this collider a little. He's preparing his attack. So he's like charging. Now we click on the second frame. You can see it changed. So I'm going to do this. I change again. Measure it right and then go to my third frame. And now he's all the way up here. The graphics are wrong probably. But it's not the matter of this tutorial. I'm just going to move my little feet. And then I'm going to move to the last frame. It's the same. So we hit play. You can see how the collider moves the way I want it. Again, it's a very simple tutorial. I'm just I'm not gonna try to be perfect because you guys uh, probably have different kind of games. But this is this is a good start for you. Okay. So what's going on here? What do I want to show you now? I'm gonna delete this so I can show you what happens. This is a debug thing that you can't do. That's probably gonna happen if you I clicked here instead of the first frame and I edit this collider. What's going to happen is the collider is gonna grow and it's gonna grow, and I don't want them to do that. So the way you fix this is you go to your first frame and you delete this and this. They they are corresponding to this box collider change, and so now you have a smooth. I mean, this this is not the right one that I would want, but this is the point that if you have a problem with that, it's probably because you are animating the first frame and then you're changing the collider on, the, on another frame which means the collider is gonna adapt to your uh, to what you you know you assigned to it and I think there you have it that's a very short tutorial I just wanted to show you guys this because this is really important for melee attacks this is really important for these kind of animations where I'm running and it's not the same I'm gonna hit play here you can see how his his uh, head is way farther when he's running and so it, it cannot be the same little bounding box I'm gonna stop it right here it cannot be the same little bounding box that it had because if it was the same as as the other animation it wouldn't really represent what this character is doing hello everyone and welcome to Enslate and so as we saw in the video what we can do to create a couple animations with colliders it's just uh, animate the colliders themselves. You can change the properties and this extends to anything else that you have in your game. And what I'm gonna tell you guys is that these uh, project files will be on Patreon for people who support these videos for at least $1. It's no big deal, honestly. And I believe anyone can get the files and if you don't need them, you can just use the project, um, I mean the tutorial to create your own project and it's, it's not that hard. Um, the other video that this one comes from is a state machine tutorial. I did fix some of the bugs that that tutorial had because it was just a few things that I didn't show to make the tutorial shorter that I think you guys um, could have figured out yourselves. Honestly, you guys are pretty smart. If you watch all my videos, you, you get, you're able to do that kind of thing. And so, well, I have been trying to make this uh, another video and that video that I'm trying to make is about how to make your own portfolio website which is not that hard, but I, I do realize that many people don't know how to do it. And so what I'm gonna do in my next tutorial probably, I may record it tomorrow and then release it next week. Mm, that tutorial is gonna be on how to make um, a website. It's a simple website. You can use whatever that whatever contains WordPress, but I recommend Nixiehost because it's the one I use. It's never down and stuff. And it lets you upload things, you have infinite, you, you, you don't even have to have you, you have infinite space and when you go to I have, I have a website in GoDaddy and it was pretty slow it was down all the time and not just that the the worst part is that I only had 100 gigabytes it sounds like a lot but when you realize I now have infinite um, infinite space well you know it kind of seems like not a lot and then uh, now I'm gonna talk about my patrons on Patreon. I right now have two, I have three patrons, but only two of them want shout outs right now. Um, uh, the first one is Peter. 
this guy made a nine never yields night never yields and uh, this is a pretty fun game it's in on itch.io i already did a, a review on this video and on this game it's not a video it's a game uh, i already did a review on this game and it's really fun honestly and the second person is mighty mod trouble mighty is my brother he's a really cool guy um he's the main producer on uh Woodbangers entertainment he's the main developer he is the person who runs the site and he he does a great job they have movie reviews game reviews they have offers they have promotions they have i really like his website i'm a member an active member of that website so i would recommend you guys go check woodbangers entertainment out it's pretty fun um and um uh, well the music for this video was banjo kazooie and clankers caverns the outside part because you know I'm a fan of Banjo Kazooie, and if you guys have any further questions, you can go to Discord. Uh, I have a link in the description to the the, the the channel's Discord. I always help people over there. We have a, a growing community. We have like 20, 30, 40 people or so, and you know everyone helps each other. I think it's 20, 20, 30, not 40. 40 is too much. And what else? Well, I will tell you guys that. You know, if you support me on Patreon, thank you very much. You don't have to. I, I don't even use uh, I don't even use commercials, you know, advertising in my videos because I think that like breaks the pace of the video. So I'm just gonna talk about stuff on insulates. It's much better. So I'll see you guys later.